Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to be changing my Pac-Man Frog's substrate because it's been a while. He's been in a few spots, as you can see. So, let's start the process. Okay, now I'm going to add new substrate. This stuff's really dry, so I'm going to have to hydrate it. I want his tank not to look so boring, so I'm going to add some cork bark. Add his little fake plant back in. They pee and poo in their substrate, so it should be changed somewhat often, depending on the size of the tank, how much they move around. You can also spot clean the poop out. That's him sitting in the back, not appreciating what I'm doing at all. Almost out of substrate. Sorry, I'm so new to this on camera. I'll go get some water and I'll be right back. This is Monty, by the way. I've had him since he was little. I've had him over two years now. I think you can see him. Oh using a tripod today, so bear with me. That's him back there. He likes to eat. So let's add some water. Lots and lots of water. I'm going to start with two bottles and mix it around and go from there because it takes a little bit for it to absorb you can see it all kind of floating. Oh, it's over by him now. So let's give this a mix. See, if you don't mix it, the water just kind of sits on the bottom. And that's not what you want. You want the substrate to absorb the moisture. Okay, lots of water still. So we're going to keep hitting the um, tripod. I do have a second Pac-Man frog, but 
I haven't had him as long, or her, I don't know if it's a her or him yet. This this guy I've heard croaking, that I didn't know if, if it was a boy or a girl. Till then. You can know if you look at the pads on their feet, but I'm not breeding them, so I don't care what I have. <clears throat> I think another bottle is needed because it's still pretty dry. I'd like to move him, but I know he's going to get mad. Come here, buddy. Go that way. Go that way. There you go. Let me stir in this spot here. He does have a heat pad on his tank on the side. It's best to put it on the side so they can't burrow and burn themselves. But they can go over to it if they want. See, it's on that side of the tank. Let me mix this around more and I'll be back. Alright, that's pretty uh, mixed together now. I'm going to pick out some cork and see what we can give him for a hide. Well, here's one we can start with. Put it like that. And then get some substrate around it. Underneath it. I've never actually given him a hide before, so I'm not sure if he'll use it or not. Come here, buddy. I know, I know. I'm just moving you to get another piece of bark in. I just have to pick another larger piece. Here's another piece. Like I said, I'm not sure if he'll use them or what he'll do, but give him something different. Give him his water dish back. It has springtails in it. So hopefully they'll go back in the substrate. And this is his little fake plant. So I think that looks better than what it did originally. The moisture's nice and damp. He's kind of covered in substrate. But, yeah. And all I use for light is this from the dollar store. Turn it on. Put it on top and it seems to give me the right amount of light to be able to work on them. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next one.